All right, all right, all right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Dakota Burford here, the executive chairman at Luxvani Marketing Solutions, coming at you live from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, with another invaluable Luxvani funnel hack. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes of one of the most successful webinar funnels on the planet. We're talking about an automated webinar funnel that generated over $36 million in a single year by automating a 2K courseware offer on complete automation. Now, what's super interesting about this project is I'm actually personally friends with all the people involved that made this project so successful. The first person is Nick Fisher, who's the former director of marketing for Sam Ovens and consulting.com. He now runs an agency called Ajexa, and he's actually my paid traffic partner for Facebook at Luxfani Marketing Solutions. The second person is my dear friend, Sean Valser. Sean's the former affiliate manager and copywriter for Ty Lopez, Andrian Morris, Chris Records, some of the biggest names in the industry. And Sean was actually the one that gave Sam Ovens the webinar template, the webinar framework, the webinar blueprint that made this webinar so successful. And you can go check out more about Sean on his own Facebook channel, or you can just scroll up to the top of this browser in YouTube, type in Dakota Burford, D-A-K-O-T-A-B-U-R-F-O-R-D, and go check out the interview that me and Sean just did where we discussed sales funnel strategies that are working in 2022 after this crazy iOS 14 update. Now, in today's video, what I wanna do is I wanna take you guys through everything from A to Z. So we're gonna start by covering all the display ads, all the Facebook ads, all the YouTube ads, and show you the copy, the videos, and the content that actually generated the clicks to this webinar registration page. And then I'm gonna take you guys through a automated evergreen webinar and show you how this funnel is formatted. And then I'm gonna take you through some of the email automation contingency plans and show you the little mini funnels that he used to basically get individuals through the process back to the webinar and in his consulting accelerator program. So let's go ahead and start with some Google AdWords to give you guys some context. Now, some of the keywords that he was ranking for is how to be a consultant, consulting, et cetera, et cetera. And he was spending a ton of money on display ads, which, you know, display and Google search ads, which you can see here. So what the copy here says, consulting.com, the ultimate guide to starting a business. That was his first ad. His second Google display ad was Sam Oven's official site. As you can see, he was, of course, ranking for his name. That's what his search term was for. So that's great there. Next piece, banner ads. He was running tons of banner ads. Advice from a billionaire to people starting their own business. The next banner ad revealed the exact blueprint I used to build my business, which is currently valued at $65 million. The next one is how I created more millionaires than Shark Tank. Watch this free webinar. The next banner ad is advice for struggling consultants to get clients from a consultant who has too many. The next banner ad is become a consultant. Working nine to five sucks. Consulting doesn't. Check out my webinar. And then the next one is how to become a consultant. Start your own wildly profitable business today. So as you can see, all these ads are either pushing them to his website or his free training. And even if they get pushed to his website, they still end up on his free training. Now, let's go through Facebook ads. Of course, since iOS 14 has came out, a lot of entrepreneurs and internet marketers have been completely killed by iOS 14. So Sam Ovens is actually not super bullish on Facebook ads right now with his offers, which is perfectly fine. He's actually taking the same the same approach that we took at Lux Bonnie, which was probably one of the best decisions that we ever made. We got rid of all of our cold traffic for um, Facebook ads and just used Facebook ads to retarget warm traffic. And then all of our cold traffic and our audience was built through Google search and YouTube ads. So Sam Ovens is actually following the exact same approach that we implemented about six months ago. 
So um, these Facebook ads, he may not be running these, but before iOS 14, they were super successful. And you guys can still get some results and mirror these if you're currently running Facebook ads. So the first ad that we have here is student interview. This is a social proof play, an authority bias play. We want to show these individuals how much individuals are making by becoming consultants. So that's what that one is. This is a super long form version of copy. And Sam Ovens was super popular for writing very long copy. So you can go through this here and I'll attach some of this stuff below the video, but super long form here. And then you've just got a basic image up at the top here, which is basically, you know, this weird photo. The next Facebook ad that we have here is another social proof and authority bias. We've got a video and then we have a little bit of subtext there down at the bottom in the copywriting, kind of a short form. Next one, we have another super long form talking about Sam Ovens' story and how he was able to took his business or take his business to 20 million a year. So another long form there. Next one that we have here is this funny little Shark Tank one, which has Sam Ovens there blurred out. Um, you know, mid-form content, not too long form. Leverage Kylie Jenner when she, you know, sold her business, et cetera, et cetera. This is kind of long form. So as you can see, Sam's super creative. This is one of his super performing ads that did really, really well. Again, more long form, and you'll see a lot of image-based ads because Sam runs a lot of variation with his ads. Um, another kind of a mid-long form you know, copy here, and we have a video ad, and this goes on and on and on. So what I'll do today is below this YouTube video, I'm actually going to attach these swipe files for you so you can download these and have them so we can make the most out of our time today. Now, once you get through all 17 Facebook ads that he ran, you can get some context on what worked and what didn't work. These are all the best performing ads that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So there is that. Now, the next piece that I want to talk about is the YouTube ads. Now, he did a lot of super high production YouTube ads. And this was when he was in New York City before he moved to California. And he was in his penthouse in New York City. And that's where all these ads were recorded. Now, this video is 13 minutes long. And it was a very good ad and it performed very well. The second ad that we have here was this long high production video. It was super high in B-roll, had Sam Ovens rolling around in a Rolls Royce around New York City with a voiceover talking about his journey to consulting. Now at this point, we've gone through all the ads. Once we've gone through all the ads, what do these ads take you to? Well, what these ads take you to is a very basic webinar page. Now, what's always amazed me with Ovens is he focuses on doing less and getting more. Of course, my funnels are super aesthetic. My webinar, if you go check out the Lux Vonning webinar, which has done over a half a million dollars in a single month before, and you look at that webinar, what you'll see is all of our funnels are super aesthetic. Sam is the exact opposite of that. Everything is super basic, super clean, not a lot of things going on. And I feel like the designs may have hurted him to some point, but it is what it is. Um, he's still doing super well. So this is the exact example that you do not have to do everything right to be successful. So as you can see at the top, we've got a pre-headline here that says exclusive free training from Sam Ovens. Then we have a headline here, how I get 30 to 50 high ticket coaching and consulting clients every single month. Down below that, we have a little VSL video. The entire goal of this video is to sell the click, not to sell the training, not to sell a phone call. It is to sell a click to the webinar. So that's what the goal is here. Then you have the three bulletin points that he's going to be covering on this training, why you need a niche and a, pool of, a proof of concept, the secret weapon of all seven-figure coaches and consultants, and the simple two-step funnel to get high-ticket clients. So that's the secrets that he's covering on this webinar. You see this huge green CTA call to action. Below that, you have a quick little bio on him, and then you have three little small testimonials right there and then another CTA. Now, once you click the CTA, 
and you try to leave, let's say you click, let's say you move your mouse, let's say you decide to not opt in, and you go to scroll away, as soon as your mouse hits that refresh button or close to that exit button or close to that back button, this pops up. Don't leave empty handed, take this with you. And then this free guide, you grab the free guide, et cetera, et cetera. So that's how that works. Now, let's talk about the opt-in. Once you click on the CTA, very simple process. You've got a squeeze page that pops up. This is done through Webinar Jam or EverWebinar, if you will. And this is built in ClickFunnels, and then it integrates with Webinar Jam. And basically, you select the time and date that you want to use. Once you select that time and date, you put in your email. Now, this is basically set up to where the time and dates go out weeks, but you can also select the time and date for right now to watch the webinar, right? We've all seen those before. So there's that. We grab the name, we grab the email address, and then once we submit that information, we then hit this congratulations page. It's got a short video of Sam talking about a little couple of pieces about what's going to happen on the webinar. And it's also explaining, hey, here's what you need to do to get the most out of the webinar. The first thing, block out 2.5 hours. It's long. The second thing, show up early. The third thing, use a desktop computer. Do not join from a phone. And the fourth thing, make sure you get the workbook on the webinar. So let's say I scheduled this for right now. I could go right here and hit enter the webinar, which is what I did in this example. And once I hit enter the webinar, I hit this little webinar waiting room. And as you can see, it's 56 second, seconds counting down. And there's a quick little video here of Sam just giving me some context on how excited he is about having me on today's webinar. Now, once we get past this and once this countdown timer goes from 56 seconds to zero seconds, I'm automatically forwarded into the broadcast room. And on this broadcast room, as I mentioned, it's done through Webinar Jam, so we can basically simulate all the individuals that are on it. We've got 404 people here. We've got the PowerPoint presentation slides. No video whatsoever. It's literally us talking over a video on a screen share, just like we're doing on today's video. And this is the actual broadcast room. Now, once you get through the broadcast and you go through the entire webinar, it's a super long webinar. It's done very well. Um, this is the exact example that you do not have to be perfect when it comes to webinars. He nailed the intro. He nailed the three content pieces. He nailed the transition and, of course, the close and then overcoming those objections on this webinar. But Sam is a bit introverted. He's not extroverted. He's not super high energy. So as far as his tonality, his scripting, the way that he covertly sells individuals. Of course, there's tons of room for improvement, but again, just follow the framework. You don't have to be perfect in everything that you do, right? Something is better than nothing. So of course, this did $36 million a year, and it was not perfect, but long story short, once you get through this two and a half hour long presentation, here is the offer. Countdown timer pops up in the chat, chat box. You get 59 seconds, says offer ends, and then it scrolls down, limited time offer, get access today, and then he sells you a $1,999 program called Up Level Consulting, actually, excuse me, called Consulting Accelerator. So that is the program and that is the funnel there. Now, once you go through that, you click that link, you hit this quick little sales page. On this sales page, our goal is to explain to you what's gonna happen. You go through here, you got a headline, you got this little Ty Lopez style box that spins and kinda goes wherever you go on this page, which is super cool. You've got a little introduction about the program. You've got some results to the program. You've got you know four components that really make up the program, mentorship, winning community, a proven process, et cetera, et cetera. Then you've got online e-learning platform, box set of physical books, and then I love this. I don't really like to focus on selling the content that's in the course. I like selling the result, but I do like how this is all framed up to basically outline just how much content you get for the value. 
And then we go down and we have this little social proof box of all these video testimonials. And then we have frequently asked questions. So that's the actual sales page. If you try to exit the sales page, you get another pop-up again. Basically, if you don't make the return on your investment, we'll give you a refund. Second, pay up front or split it over five monthly payments. And third, use any credit card or get six months interest free with PayPal credit. So there's that. Just pre-framing that objection if there is a price objection. So once we get in, this is really cool. We click that link on the sales page. We decide we want to be a part of this. Enter your name and email address. So before entering payment, we've got to create an account. So we enter our first name, our last name, and our email address. And then once we enter those details, then we select the payment option that best suits us. We can do one payment of $1,997 which basically saves us $988 by paying up front, and it says most recommended. And then we have another option, which is five payments of $597 that's billed every 30 days. Now, <clears throat> I absolutely love this because it makes the barrier of entry so low, and anybody can really jump into this and make it work. So I really, really like how he did this. The next piece here is meet some of our students. Now, these are gonna be the automations that we're gonna leverage. So let's say you go through the actual webinar. You sit through the webinar, you hit the actual sales page, and then you do not take action and sign up. Well, what he's gonna do is he's gonna retarget you with marketing automation contingency plans via email to get you back. So one of the first things when you hit that page, you either have a price objection you have a trust objection, you have some type of objection about why you didn't convert on that offer. So the goal is, is to leverage social proof and show you and change your belief systems, which then dictate your perceptions, which then dictate your reality. If you can control that reality and that perception, you can ultimately win the frame and get the deal, right? So what we do here, the first set of email automation you get if you do not sign up is a quick little page with just tons of authority bias, tons of social proof bias, and tons of likability bias. You've got all these average individuals that are talking about how this course transformed their life. So that is the first email that you're gonna get, and once you click that, that's that. The next one is another short VSL. He hosts it kind of almost like a Ty Lopez style to where he's just recording in front of an easel pad and writing. And it's a quick little training, it's not that long, but it's got a video there. And then of course, below the video, he's got the program again, which just takes you back to the sales page. The third email that we have here is another training, which is you know basically how we get clients as consultants. Quick little training, Ty Lopez style there. And then you've got that call to action again. The fourth email, another training he's using, a little bit different here, yes, Ty Lopez style. You've got the VSL at the top, you've got some text there, but you've also got some social proof, and then he resells you again on Consulting Accelerator. Next one, same thing, this is a short little video, it was just a tour of his house. So once you see the penthouse that he's in, he's trying to build some authority bias with you. Quick little video there, kind of cool, kind of gets you closer to ovens and really build that likability bias. But again, same exact page again, BSL at the top, and then down at the bottom, we have the Consulting Accelerator offer. This is a super long one, and this is actually the sixth email that you're gonna get. And in this video, what he does is he's got a video that is a VSL, more high production style, right? And he's talking about, do you have questions about joining? So in this video, he covers some of those questions and then he goes through commonly asked questions to kind of automate these objections with rebuttals to where he can close these individuals and get them into the program. So super long form there. Um, yeah, so that's the process there. The next email that we have, the seventh email that we have is how badly do you want to succeed? You've got a little motivational video and then it says, hey, you've got 24 hours, leverage some scarcity bias before this offer goes away. And that's really it on the email automation. Now, he also does a lot of retargeting campaigns. 
So he takes some of his YouTube videos, he takes some of his other stuff, he says, hey, I know you checked out my training, I know you didn't sign up, and then he just keeps delivering value to you and chasing you around the internet, and he does that over and over and over. So retargeting, super important. Here's another one for you. I wanna personally thank you for attending my webinar. Right now, registrants for my brand new Consulting Accelerator 2.0 program are open and we are selling quickly. Here's a discount, blah, blah, blah. So tons of retargeting ads, does it again and again and again. And as you can see, he split tests a lot of variation here. He's got course sale ads, he's got video ads, he's got static ads, um, he leverages a lot. Retargeting for his YouTube video. This is a pretty neat one. I loved how he did this. Um, we have the Consulting Accelerator box, the actual hard copy. Now, he no longer does this anymore. I think he did it last year on Black Friday to just get rid of all the boxes that he had. And I think the dude made like two million bucks in like 48 hours. But anyways, um, super cool video here, just a YouTube ad. So once you hit the webinar, once you've viewed the webinar, even if you leave the webinar, you're going to get retargeted on Facebook and you're going to get retargeted on YouTube with these ads. So love how he did that there. And then if you still don't take action after all of this, he tries to throw you into this free trial offer. And what the free trial offer does is it basically grabs the name and the email address first to create the account. And then on the second page, we grab the card number. The only problem that I have with this is I'm not sure what the back end look like. And I could probably ask Nick and figure out what their chargeback rates were. But I wouldn't personally do this because I would be scared about my merchant account. When you are basically giving a three-day trial and getting these individuals to enter their credit card information and then three days later, they get billed for $1,900 or one payment of $597, I could see that being a huge problem with chargebacks, to be quite honest with you. So I don't know what that looked like. I'm sure I can find out, but um, I do not like the three-day trial there. I would extend that and you know, probably not even offer the one pay of $1,900 after the free trial ends. I'd probably just recur it at $597 and I would lengthen that free trial a little bit more. So there's that, guys. That's the entire funnel from start to finish today. So what we went through is we went through all the Facebook ads, we went through all the Google search ads, we went through all the retargeting ads, and we talked about the funnel itself, which was super insightful. Now, I didn't wanna go through all of these because there's so much content and some people you know, want the high level, they want the juicy stuff. So what I've decided to do is I'm actually going to throw all of the swipe files that we just went through in a video, in a link directly in the description of this video. So you can click that, enter your name and your email address, and I will email you all of this over to you to where you have all the swipe files so you can mirror your copy off it, you can mirror your landing pages off of it, and you can mirror your funnel architecture off of it, if you will. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was a short one. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to post a comment below this video. If you enjoyed today's video and you like this content, subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one where we're gonna be talking about a funnel that did over $100 million in a single year. Talk soon, be great, enjoy the day, and we'll see you on the next one.